Um, so I'll, I'll kick off this afternoon's briefing with um, discussion on what we're seeing in terms of emerging trends for um, the different media platforms. Um, I'll be talking about <clears throat> the usual uh, suspects, as they say, television, radio, print, and then I'll segue a bit into a discussion on what we see in terms of the digital uh, landscape for the Philippines. <clears throat> Let's start with television. So for those who've been uh, keeping track of the industry, you've, you've probably seen some of the articles showing that both ABS and GMA have, have been reporting slower growth in terms of their businesses. Um, we just finished a nationwide urban rural study on the different media uh, consumption of the Filipinos and I'd like to share some of the highlights this afternoon. So some of them are, are good for television, some of them are very challenging developments for television and the other platforms. Let's start off with um, increase in TV ownership. So Filipinos still continue to buy TV sets. So some would think that's good. Um, some would think that's, that's going to be uh, a challenge. Um, and a lot of Filipinos are now investing in terms of uh, more modern types of television. So we're seeing a decline in the ownership of CRT television. So these are for, for those in my age range or age group. These are the, the flat TV sets with uh, literal tubes inside now. In, in lieu of uh, the more modern and uh, the less expensive uh, plasma, LED, and smart TV sets. Okay. Another thing that's changing in the landscape is we're seeing for the second year in a row, people are starting to unsubscribe to their cable uh, companies. Okay. In contrast, we're seeing growth in terms of satellite subscriptions. Uh, this is mainly due to an increase in subscriptions, particularly in the rural uh, segment of the, of the country. Uh, right now, I think Signal is claiming that they have more than 2 million subscribers already. And uh, not to be outdone, uh, Sky Cable, which launched um, their own satellite company called Sky Direct about 15 months ago, already has a 5% market share in just a short period of time. So, we're seeing a, a, a very increased competitive landscape when it comes to uh, the satellite segment of, of the TV landscape. And people continue to watch and follow their favorite um, pay TV channel. Uh, this is a year-on-year -year comparison of the popular TV channels on cable. And just looking at the channels, you already gauge the, the type of audience that are still hooked to, to television as a uh, touch point now. 